Hi and welcome um, back to Sunflowers and Doors. My name's Mandy. Um, really good to have you with me for the final, final episode um, of creating a steampunk grungy um, envelope folio. So we're there. Um, the final piece to put on was a closure. Um, and what I've done with that, quite simply, is I've taken one of the squares of ephemera um, and I've backed that with some of the black card that I've used throughout the project. Um, I have cut two discs and I've used a one inch um, punch for that. Um, I've glued the bottom disc underneath and put a brad right the way throughout um, so that it will allow for a policy closure. And that is going to sit there maybe there okay um, so i'm just quickly going to put this on and then i will do a final run through of the folio And to close this, I'm just using some hemp cord, uh, if I can get it off, that is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I am denied about whether to go for black, um, but I've basically decided that I wanted the um, brown instead start brown two three four okay so i want to give this a little bit of time to um really um fix itself so we'll go through the rest of the folio um first so we have got the front we've got a flip out here um i've put a journaling card in here um, backed it with some craft paper, um, just literally a, a sheet from the kit and did a little bit of embossing using um, Tim Holtz Distress Glaze. I can't remember the name um, of the glaze. Hickory Smoke, sorry. That's what I've used throughout is Hickory Smoke. So that sits in there quite comfortably. I have put another little um, belly band just in the front, um, just for a gin on the card or whatever um, you choose to use that for. This could be further embellished with um, another pocket, but it, it already, you can see, it's getting quite bulky. So I didn't want to um, overload it. Okay, so we turn over here, and again, we've got another flip out. With this flip out, we've got two pockets, um, and again, just a um, backed card for that one. Um, and we've got a full size journal card. Um, again, this one here, just need to glue that down. Again, this one here um, has been stamped um, and embossed um, and I've just put another stamp on the bottom which says live every day with intention which I thought was really cool but again that's backed with um, craft paper so you can scribble to your heart's content with that one okay so then we've got a pocket here. This is a really deep pocket and I've done a large journal card again backed with craft paper. Uh, this one, this is just literally a decorative piece and again I have um, embossed that but this time I think I've gone for walnut stain with the um, embossed glaze colour, another little stamp and just a uh, whale tail um, tab on the end of that. So that just tucks in there. And I've also got a pocket here with another um, card, journal card. Underneath here, I've got a full size journal card. Um, I added this pretty much for stability more than anything else. But if you want to use that as a journal and card, there's some um, um, Amazon backing on that and it's still writable. So that could be used if you wanted to do that. Okay, then we move over here. We've got another flip out. 
with another journal card, another um, little bit of an emboss in there just to add a little bit of interest and it's backed with craft cards so that you can journal. Then here we've got um, another flip out. Now this time, this one, I've used it as a full-size tack. Um, again, another journaling card in that one. This one here has been um, glued just slightly, so you could use that as a tack spot um, if you wanted to add any um, pieces there. And again, journaling space on the back of that. There's another small pocket on the front if you wanted to use that. Then we come over here. We've got a flip up. Um, and inside of that, we've got a, another journaling card. Um, and with that one here, another pocket on the front and again, some embossing just to add a little bit more interest. Okay. Sorry, I'm moving this all over the place just so you can see. Okay, on this one here, another flip out with a um, pocket on the back. Love the way that kind of frames that um, Hot air balloon, really do like that. And inside again, another um, journaling card again with a top tag or top tuck uh, and just a little bit of embossing for some added extra. Opening this page up here, we've got two pockets. Um, and you could just use this as a piece to just put your paper on. These are gonna kind of go in place and, and hold all of that together for you anyway. So um, that is you know, another option. And then we flip it over here, which is our back. Again, we've got another flip out with a journal card, which you can write on the back. There's some embossing here and a pocket. Uh, another pocket on the back. Then we flip this one out here and I've turned that into another large tech spot rather than a pocket. And again, there's a full size journal card in there just um, with a little bit of um, stamping. And then here, this is our actual back sheet. Um, I've added a side pocket, side tack quite a deep one so that will come in handy um, and it literally just folds over like so and then the final little piece inside of this is in the envelope um, opening there I've just added a notepad um, and it literally is just a notepad I've used some coffee dyed paper I've used some piano roll um, yeah a real mix in there but I didn't want to attach this to the inside of the um, folio which would, would have been my initial um, thought process I would have possibly um, added that uh, a full note there but what I didn't want is for when this was used up um, for you to be left with with not a huge amount of options so I've just done a notepad and I've tucked it in there um, which fits in there really nicely she says there we go and then to finalize this we're just going to add our closure now this is a piece of um, I think it's uh, hemp cord um, I've used lots of different things. I've used um, embroidery thread, which works really well. Um, but the hem cord as well is uh, just a tiny bit more. Um, it's, a, it's a bit stiffer. So, yeah. So all I've done there is I've just done a double knot. I'm going to cut this bit here off. And what we're going to do with this to close it is we are literally, it's just going to wrap around here a few times. And then it tucks in here and wraps around. And I'm just going to cut that piece off there. And that keeps everything together. So there you have it. It's been a while um, in the making, um, but so glad that it's finally finished. I hope that you like it. Um, and I hope that you've been able to craft along with me. 
Um, would love some feedback in the comments section below. Um, and this will be going in my Etsy shop over the next um, couple of days. So if you are interested, then by all means jump over um, to that. Again, details below. Um, it's been really, really good having you on this journey with me. Um, and I look forward to the next um, adventure. Take care for now. Bye.